going? Matt here. Today in this really cool video we're looking at a pedal mod on one of the classic most amazing pedals probably of all time. The Boss C2 Chorus Pedal. As many of you guys know this thing pretty much started the Chorus Pedal game. It's totally legendary but it's not capable of a whole lot other than just you know a basic chorus sound. So if you don't you know if you want the rate to really kind of go crazy it's not really going to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you some really amazing things that you can do that are very simple to keep your stock Boss CE2 tone, but to definitely you know stretch its capabilities like a lot farther. We're going to look at doubling the rate mod. Um, we're pretty much actually going to be looking at the Monty Allums mod for this pedal, but before we get into that, I want to tell you a little bit of a story. Um, I bought a pedal kit from Mammoth Electronics. Um, it was a PCB for the Dr. Fibes Phaser. Um, I've been really into like pedal building and stuff and mods and all that lately, so I thought I'd try one of these out. Um, it was totally awesome. It came with a, uh, a mod kit within the pedal kit, which I think is kind of funny, um, to like add an LED to the rate that the phaser is spinning. So, you know, you have an LED like blinking every time that it's going through. I thought that was awesome. So I drilled another hole in the enclosure, uh, added that LED, I thought it was rad. So that was one thing that I definitely, when I decided that I wanted to change up the CE2 sound, that was one thing I set out to do. Um, I actually ended up doing that before, I guess, realizing that there are a lot of these like mod companies and stuff around that do these kinds of things. So um, just to kind of, I guess, you know, throw that out there, you know, Monty Allums, you can save a lot of time and stuff instead of getting all these parts you know, separately that we're going to be talking about, you can go straight to MontyAllums.com and just order his CE2 mod. It comes with pretty much everything that I'm going to show you in the video today. Um, a few mods, like I said, I'd performed already and then discovered his mod, bought the kit, and then, you know, essentially found out all the other amazing things that he's discovered. So, uh, without any further ado, we're going to be looking at um, a Japanese CE2 and then a Taiwanese CE2, which is the one that I've modded. They're both made in the same year, I think only like 11 months apart. The Taiwanese is, uh, was made in January of 82, and the Japanese one was made in December of that same year, so they're very, very, very close. Um, and it'll be cool, we'll even get to look at some of the you know differences and stuff and, with the circuit boards and stuff and the way they're made in the factory, so let's get into that, and then we'll take a listen to how they sound. All right, everybody, so this is the one on the left here. Uh, this guy is the Japanese one, the one that's not modded so that everything that you're seeing here is stock. This one is the one that is modded, so this is the Taiwanese one made in that same year. Um, and we're, so we're gonna go through everything pretty much piece by piece. I'm gonna talk about what I did. Uh, so first, I'd like to talk about some things that can be problematic with these. I'm sure you're noticing this little like pool of crap right here. Uh, this actually came from the stock capacitor that I replaced with this dude. Um, this is just normal capacitor leakage, but over, you know, I guess 37 years, these pedals are definitely going to, you know, start to decay a little bit on the inside. And every capacitor does this. On the Japanese one, uh, there's a little bit of it, you know, if you look hard enough, but not enough to actually disable the part. In this case, the old capacitor had leaked so much that it no longer worked, so it was n I was not able to get any signal out of that pedal when I first bought it. And at first, I was very angry about it. I was going to write like a really crappy review on reverb and you know all this kind of stuff and then I just decided well I could look into the problem and fix it and then as soon as I opened it I saw that and I was like well oh, okay cool um, so we're gonna talk about all that stuff uh, or all the mods and everything real quick so <clears throat> let's go through the main pieces of the pedal so all these chips that are in each of these these are what control the chorus sound um, this is the stock uh, one here, it's a JRC4558D. Um, it's a very common chip from this point, uh, from that time period with pedals and stuff. But what I've done and, and with the Monty Allums mod is he includes a Burr Brown op amp chip. Uh, very much modern, uh, new. It keeps your stock chorus sound, but it essentially just widens it, you know, gives it a, a cleaner feel. That's awesome. So this is one of the things that is included in the Monty Allums mod. Uh, now, you may be noticing all these red uh, capacitors here instead of all these green guys. So what these are, these are just different uh, film capacitors, metal film capacitors instead of the cheap uh, old school ones. They're the same value, so there's nothing changed. Um, the only thing that's different is, uh, you know, they're made out of metal film, so less decay and they tend, tend to sound a little bit better. 
Now the next thing, all these silver capacitors, this is essentially the same thing. This is another piece of the Monty Allen's mod, these capacitor changes. Um, upgrading the capacitors in the CE2 is one of the most common mods for sure. It cleans up the sound and makes it almost sound like if it, as if it were fresh off the factory. Capacitors decay over time, we all know this. That's why older pedals can tend to not really hold their sound as well. Upgrading the capacitors definitely is a great way to go. So the Monty Allums mod, as well as the cap upgrade, uh, you know, you can buy that separately from him as well. Those two things are wonderful. Uh, they really clean the sound up a lot. Now let's talk about some changes here. So these two capacitors here are stock uh, 100 microfarad. What we're going to do is upgrade them from 100 to 220. Now, this was something, I had a couple of these extra guys lying around from an old project, so I just put them in. This is actually another piece of the Monty Allen's cap upgrade. This is one of the first things, along with that LED, that I did beforehand. And these two guys up the voltage a little bit, kind of adding a little bit more bass and mid to the circuit. Now again, purchasing just the cap upgrade from Monty Allen, I think it's only like 20 bucks or whatever, that covers with uh, all of these silver... Uh, tantalum capacitors and stuff from the metal film guys and then you know these two as well um, so purchasing that's actually really awesome they all comes in the cap upgrade uh, so now we're gonna flip these guys over we're gonna talk about the LED so the LED is definitely the coolest part of the pedal now in my opinion well I guess apart from the you know amazing new sound and stuff so here's the back of each one now on the Taiwanese there's a wire uh, here, I guess you can't see that. Okay. On the Taiwanese one, there's a wire going to this pole labeled number 8. So this is the rate pot. So this is what I was modding in that circuit uh, from Mammoth Electronics. Um, wiring an LED to the rate pot. So what you do, uh, because you want the LED to blink in multiple different scenarios, right? So you purchase a common anode LED it has three prongs, so it's a little bit different than the regular one. What you're going to do is unscrew. Uh, there's a little um, mini PCB on the inside. I'll try and position it to where you can see. Uh, but underneath the power jack, there's a screw. It's easy to get to, but just hard to see here. There's a screw. You unscrew this. It's a small little PCB um, that holds the LED. You simply just desolder what's there. Take the old one out. Um, and then add the new one, uh, put them basically in the same spot on it. Well, I'll put this little diagram. So here, check this out right here. You're going to wire it up like this, and then you're going to take the extra end and you're going to solder it to a wire and wire that to this eighth pole to the rate pot. Now this will make the pedal blink in bypass one color and then blink another color while it's on. And then underneath that color, there will be a blinking, uh, to the rate. So these are the mods that I've done to the CE2. It sounds wonderful. Let's check them out. Remember, check out MontyAllums.com. You can literally get all of this stuff in one little package. It's amazing.
Okay, everybody, I think those sounds were definitely apparent. The, num the new modded version absolutely trumps the old one. Um, loving the LED blinking with the rate, obviously. I mean, I do love that stuff. Again, all of these things can be purchased at MontyAlums.com. He has two mods, a capacitor upgrade, and then uh, like his actual mod for the CE2, which includes, uh, I think, well, a couple other things, but the, you know, the bicolor common anode LED is definitely part of that. Um, so be sure you check out that stuff. I have t-shirts. Hit this link right here. Rep my stuff. If you have any other questions about the pedal shelf or the, any other gear or anything at all, please drop a comment in the comment section below. I'm going to be doing many more pedal mod videos in the future. I have one coming out on the Proco Rat 2 as well as the Crybaby Wah. So if you have any questions, like I said, drop a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to get back with you. And as always, do not forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.